What's up beautiful people? It's about half 7am here because we've got to be up to go and get a flight but more importantly it is my mum's birthday so at about 3.30am on the floor in the hotel corridor I ended up wrapping these It's amazing how much wrapping you can get done on a hotel corridor floor with some random wrapping paper, nail scissors, some random stickers you found in a shop. Couldn't find any sellotape. Birthday to you. Just plug out the shower. Give me some face. Our stay in tune was really, really good and I can highly recommend that place, especially if you want like a private room or like slightly more luxury than like a homestay or a hostel while you're in Kuching. For us, it didn't actually work out much more expensive than staying in the hostel that we'd previously stayed in. Great view from the room, really close to the waterfront, so can definitely recommend. And now we are just on the way to the airport so we can catch our flight to Mulu. We are very fortunately getting a lift from Zen who you may remember from a few vlogs ago when we did like a food vlog. Zen, what's this one it's called? It's Kai Lan. Kai Lan? Yeah. Thank you so much, man. Thank you so much. Do you like a see? Yeah, buddy. Intro get harvest. Do you like a see? This flight is so empty, check this out. quite short but my head hurts so much a massive headache come in just woken up I felt so ill when we arrived my head was absolutely banging but we've managed to get a room for the three of us in sort of like a homestay backpacker place so this is the room we're staying in the girls managed to book some trips so apparently there was like no space left pretty much on some and like they've just managed to squeeze us on some that are happening in the next couple of days which is really fortunate as we've already booked our flight out so as to carry on and do the other stuff we want to do in Borneo um, but they did say there was a big sign saying no drones unless you have a permit so I'm thinking I might go and speak to them and see if they'll let me fly my drone. I figure it's going to be a no, but we'll have to see. This is the toilet and shower area of the lodge. And then just through here, sort of like out of the back of the garden, check these views out. Just like mountains and oh, mystical, mystical clouds. I think this place might be the most remote place I've ever been. Basically, you can only get here by flying in, or I think it's a five hour speedboat to the next Malaysian town, Hannah just said. Very, very remote. There's no, well, there's very little mobile phone signal. I think there's Wi Fi at Park HQ, I'm not quite sure, but very cool. This is the dorm room where I guess like most people stay and then this is sort of like the kitchen and chill out area very very nice place 
so apparently this is the only road in the area it runs from the airport which is literally there up about maybe 4k away in this direction is there's like a really fancy Marriott and that's the only accommodation other than the, the HQ that's the only accommodation that's inside the park and apparently it's very expensive <laughs> This is... Yes. Ah! It's starting to rain! The Pac-Man poncho makes its return. So, that is the problem with flying the drone. The even more annoying thing is that they told us that if we'd have applied for a permit, we had to do it beforehand, and you have to do it in Kuching, which is where we just were. But I mean, I looked online and tried to find out what we could do beforehand, and I couldn't see anywhere, so I thought maybe I'd be able to get one while I was here or something, but they've said, no, you can't. And uh, I understand why it's to like protect the bats and protect the scenery, so I completely understand the Miss National Park, but slightly, Slightly disappointing. Anyway, it's raining like absolute mad still. But I think there's something quite special about being in the uh, in the sort of like rainforest downpours that they have. So it's pretty cool. It's a good introduction to the rainforest. <laughs> We are back in the room after an evening of like meeting people and speaking to the people at the homestay. We got some cake for mum and put some candles in it. How was your birthday today, mum? Oh, First birthday away, right? Yes, and I feel really spoiled, especially you in the pouring rain going back to the headquarters, telling me you just popped out for a minute to get a drink, reappearing 40 minutes later with chocolate cake with candles on it. Thanks. Well, gotta do what you can. Tomorrow, yeah, we're going to the caves and basically just adventuring around here in Mulu, so we're very excited for that, but we're gonna just sort ourselves out here, get a good night's sleep, and then hopefully, yeah, just have a great day tomorrow. So I'm gonna finish this one up here. Thank you so much for watching. Big love. That feels good around here. Woo!